Hey, good evening. It's been a little bit. Um, welcome to the Five Cs. This is Planet Head. Currently playing as Robert Goldshaw. It's been three or four days since I've been able to do a video. Um, the purpose of this video is to just give you a heads up. Um, I'm going to be going on a little bit of a hiatus from structured videos for a little while. Um, long story short, uh, I am going on a work business trip for three weeks where I will be hanging out in a hotel room um, for most of that time, and I have no idea what the um, Wi-Fi experience is. <laughs> um, my understanding, it's in New Jersey, and my understanding from looking at the map is the there's some really bad hotels there they haven't given me where i'm going yet or the which hotel i'm staying at so uh i'm a little bit worried there uh last couple days have been getting ready to leave for that i don't leave for a week but i'm having to work on the house right now to get it up to snuff um if you don't know uh i i have bought a really junky house a couple of years ago and I'm on year three of getting it. it. took about two years to clear out all of the trash. and Not trash, but uh, walls and things that need to be tore down. And now I'm reconstructing it. And um, so uh, to go to how I normally do things, uh, today is hint time. Or right now is hint time. We talk about hint and gameplay and then whatever the fuck, whoop, whatever I feel like talking about. Um, so hint. Well, number one, um, I am going to be playing over the next couple of weeks, no matter what. Whether or not I can have a structured video, I have no idea, because I'm going to be training a lot of new people that I've never met before. I need to focus on that. So really, my gameplay is just going to be gameplay. Um, that said, uh, my hint is to always have a backup plan. My backup plan is, let's see, I can't get onto EVE Online. I may have talked about this in the past. You know the way I like to play this game is survival mode. Uh, throw myself into some tough areas with very little stuff. And if I don't have access to Wi-Fi, how can I do that on EVE? Um, or good Wi-Fi. So uh, my backup has always been... We're going to go ahead and close this down. The last couple of years, I just booted it up and started playing again. Um, the Long Dark is my favorite second game to eve it is my favorite person game it is a survival game uh if you've never seen it before there is a fantastic video about it here um i just want to scroll down here the long dark is underrated um and it is oh, i think it is uh done by um retro crumpet so if you want to look that up and get an idea about the game itself, he does a really good review on that. Just about a month old. Game has been around um, four or five years now. Uh, just go ahead and um, we'll close down a lot of this stuff so I have my best uh, ability. Um, what it? Uh, I don't want to spoil it. Here's here's the weirdest part. I know I like to make videos of Eve. Um, when I first bought The Long Dark, um, probably three or four years ago, it was still in beta mode. Um, since then, it has come out, and they've done a lot of updates, a lot of expansions for free, which is what I really like. Once you buy it, every expansion they've put out has come to me free. I haven't had to buy anything. Um, there's a storyline to it. But the one that everyone talks about is the um, survival mode. Now, number one, listen to this music. This is uh, fantastic. I mean, the soundtrack to this is really good. Um, and uh, the game itself, you've got Winter Mute is the storyline, which I would suggest anybody to play at the beginning. You can learn how to play the game. I don't want to tell you how to play the game because whenever I first watched it or so, had somebody told me about it, they said, don't read up on it. Don't look up any maps. 
don't there are tons of help guides out there. Don't look them up. Jump into the game. Live as if you're living in the wilderness during an apocalypse on your own. This is not a zombie apocalypse. This is not a um, uh, shoot 'em up. Um, it is a make your decisions, make them right, deal with your bad decisions, um, and learn. It was such a great game. So then they've also got some challenges in here and some extra challenges are specific things, but it is a thir first person visual. I don't want to say shooter. Uh, this is a little bit loud. <laughs> it's great music though. Um, let me go ahead and quit this just for a second so I can lower the, I probably could have just lowered it on the game. That was dumb of me. Um, I just want to show you, I'm going to jump back. That was really dumb. Um, I want to show you, I just for the, so that my hint of the day is try out the long dark, um, have a game that you can play, um, when everything else, like I can jump in and play just like I've been playing Eve, the long dark for 15 minutes. I can play it for four hours. I will tell you, it is one of those games when you first start playing it. If you don't look anything up. Uh, you're going to die. You're going to die a lot. And you're going to learn every single time you die. And then you're going to move up to a tougher level. And then you're going to move up to a tougher level from that. Don't try it at the toughest levels at the beginning. You will die quickly. Um, <laughs> and it isn't a um, uh, a death by, like I said, zombie or monster. Um, it is... Let's go ahead and... Audio. Drop this down. Music just a little bit. Hopefully you can hear that. The music to this does make the game. Um, so, um, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to give it like 10, 15 minutes. I'm just going to show you the start of a survival mode um, in the toughest level. I actually play the toughest level now and still get killed, especially at the beginning. Um, here is the craziest part of the game. Uh, when you die, you can't save. You, you can save as you're playing, but when you go to sleep, it will save your progress. When you die, you can't reboot your character. You have to start over in a random spot, or you can pick an area. But um, if you're doing it at the highest level, you start at a random spot in the toughest areas. Um, so the weird part is the longer you survive, the more you have invested because you've been able to survive longer, find more things, explore different things. You've reached certain goals for yourself, which gives you more of a reason to be scared to die. <laughs> There's, I, I think for the last 20 years, I got so used to having save games that I stopped being afraid and not having that rush. And I think it's very similar to Eve uh, flying out into uh, Nullsec, um, NPC Nullsec, into uh, Lowsec, into Faction Warfare. I think it's why I play the way I do now in Eve. Um, and I think The Long Dark had a lot to do with that. This is my second favorite. Eve is still my first. I'm going to continue playing that, but as a backup here, I just want to show you a little bit here. And there's plenty of videos out there, but don't watch too many. I cannot... Uh, suggest this more than anything. Oop. Oh shoot, I'm resuming. I didn't want to resume. I wanted to start a new one. Dang it. Stupid. I'm so pumped about playing the game. Okay. So, um, we're going to go ahead and quit. Confirm. The other part with the game is its palette. It's, um, uh, you'll see whenever I pull it up here, we're going to go survival mode. We're going to do a new game. And interloper is the toughest. You can do a custom. I don't like doing customs. I like doing inter one of the levels. Pilgrim is a uh, level where you can not really worry about dying. They always say start off with Voyager. There is a little bit of fear, but it's more of a scouting version. Stalker is um, a very tough version where you get all of the items available to you. The biggest thing about the interloper area 
is that uh, the weather becomes tougher. The uh, ability to find certain weapons or things becomes very, very hard, or you can't find them. Um, you have to build rustic, junky forms of them. Like, you can't find an axe. You literally have to spend days and days and days to find the parts to build a piece of metal with a thing wrapped around it to stay alive. But you don't need that. That's a thing. Okay, we're going to go with uh, mail. Sure. Now, I have gotten a few bonuses. I'm not going to go over these here. Oh, I didn't take any bonuses. Shoot. Okay, never mind. I have no bonuses. This is a purely tough version. There's a very good chance I might die within the first 10 minutes. But what I was going to say earlier was you're going to see the, the artistry of the video game itself is very rustic. Which, strangely enough, keeps it very good to last for a long period of time. It's more of a comic bookish feel. You'll see how the trees and things are um, not photorealistic. Um, now, what I'm doing now is I'm just trying to figure out where I'm at. Um, I'm not sure. Okay. There, uh, I've actually read, if any of you, I'm sure anybody who's playing this has uh, played what's uh, the game Skyrim, they actually say the map system to, um, to the Long Dark is larger than Skyrim, if you can believe it. The maps are in different areas. What I'm trying to do right now is just look for some landmarks. I've played the game enough that um, I I can see that see where things are. What is that over there? Okay, got some trees. I'm thinking this is called an area called Pleasant Valley. Um, I, there is a way that you can figure that out really quickly, but I'm not going to do it. Um, you can pull up the map. Um, the map only shows what you've marked down, but it will tell you the area that you're in. But as you can see, I'm very cold. I'm going to say, yes, I am in um, Pleasant Valley. Ooh, what is that? Okay, so that's a building. Got to be careful here. Good. You, ha you have to fight through the, um, the weather. There are um, a few dangerous things that are out here. Uh, there are some wolves, um, some bears. By far the uh, most annoying and angry creatures. Randomly, you can go days and days and days and around a corner and run into a moose. And that moose will kill you. But in general, most of the time you will die has to do with... What I'm doing here is picking up some stones. Ooh, some stuff. Maybe. Nothing in there. Good. Oh, somebody froze a corpse. There we go. My understanding, too, is that um, they are working. This has been out for years now. The next update, they might be working on a co-op. But if you're just going purely survival, I know there's a lot of survival games out there. This is a very simple game. As you can see, <laughs> I'm talking about it, and I am completely enthralled with watching it. But look, this is not photorealistic, but what this is is... Um, this is going to sound strange, but the fact that they aren't trying to have perfect graphics allow you to actually become, in my mind more immersed within the game. Uh, in the bottom left-hand corner, I can't actually circle it, um, but you'll notice, oh, I now have a frostbite affliction risk, so I have a, I need to find um, some place to live. Ooh, is that a house? Yes, it is. I am, oh, and there's walls between me and that house. You can see them in the edge there. Now, if I don't get too close, I can get around them. Ooh, there's three of them there. Oh, they've spotted me. Now I need to run. 
We're going to try to get to that car. Oh. Okay. I am, my stamina is out. Hopefully I can get to this car. We're here. And I am in Pleasant Valley. Okay. Ooh, a candy bar. Anything here? Now here's a kicker. That wolf is somewhere out here. The only negative is I can't turn my head fully 360. He's somewhere out there. I need to get to that cabin right there. The sun is just coming up. There's the wolf. They actually um, will become more active the longer you're near them. Okay. I'm going to try to run to that house right there. Hopefully I can get there. Now, I could have crawled to get by them. Um, I'm just kind of having a little bit of fun right now. Oh, they're coming after me again. I have been caught so many times getting in a doorway by some wolves. <laughs> Alrighty, so we safely made it in. The second part of the game, and I'm not going to uh, keep this going on for too long, but as you find these houses, they're, uh, basically the game revolves around, if you notice over in the left-hand corner, my temperature gauge went from freezing, now I'm going up a little bit so I can heat myself back up again. Um, my frost uh, bite chances will go away here fairly soon. Um, but the idea of the game is that this whole area has been deserted due to some sort of magnetic uh, disturbance. Um, it was already a pretty deserted area anyway. Um, the storyline actually has people in it, but in your survival mode it doesn't. You basically come across these different areas that um, are left by people. And you need to search around and try to find things that might be helpful um, to keep you living. Good, good, good. The most important thing that you want to try to find are matches or something to... Uh, what is that back there? Is that anything? Nope. Okay. Like I can break down a pillow if I have something to cut it up with. Ooh, a can of peaches. Uh, the food itself can be... Um, let me see if I can find a little bit more here. Oh, a can opener. Oh, you would not believe how important a can opener is for you. Got it. Okay, so um, I'll just show you here. The food itself, as you grab it, can be 95%, um, 59 It's how much it's been spoiled down to. Once you get below 40%, um, you can actually get food poisoning. I had, first time I ever found a can, ooh, that's some maple syrup. Um, first time I ever, I found a can of sardines, ate it, got food poisoning, and slowly died. It was the most depressing and scary thing. You're trying to figure out what to do. That's why I say um, there are things that you can do, but I don't, I had to learn it. I jumped in and... Uh, Good, good. Here, here's a dirty one here. Here we go. Watch this. Do you see this? Here it comes. There's water in here. Yeah, I'm going to take that water. I think you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to drink it. Yeah. I'm going to drink that toilet water. Sorry. I needed to do that. Um, so basically, you can go around these houses. This is actually uh, a really good haul to start off with, to be honest with you. Um, this, oh, matches... I can't start off any better right now. The last time I played, it took me um, multiple days to find just a pack of matches. Um, I found a road flare, which I used to start a fire um, to keep myself alive and make some water. Um, this is really maybe the best start I've ever seen. Too bad I'm not going to be playing this one. I have my other game going. Um... So that's basically it right there. Um, just to show you, some I don't want to run through the game too much. Um, you can actually turn on a few things here. The radios themselves um, don't work unless randomly at night 
uh, the magnetic disturbance will pop up and the electronics will turn on. This doesn't happen every night or even every third night. It's just a random occurrence. And the radio will turn on with some uh, eerie music. Some of the computers will turn on and leave notes that aren't there to help you. They're just storyline stuff. Um, last but not least, if I can here. Yep, I can take the charcoal. And I'm just going to show you this last part here. I'm going to walk out here. If I'm outside during the day, I can slowly start making a map. Walk out. All right. So nobody around. Good. Good. So... As you notice, the temperature meteor now has a negative or a downward spiral. If there's wind blowing, um, it will go lower. If it's early in the morning or late at night, it will be colder. Um, depending on what level you're playing at, it gets colder. If you're walking around in a snowstorm, your clothing will get iced up and have to be thawed out. Um, but last but not least, I'll just show you how to... Uh, oh, low visibility? What are you talking about? Maybe I can do it from here. I guess this fog is not allowing me to uh, make my map. Well, dang it. I wanted to show that. Uh, basically, map comes up here. As you can see, there's nothing here. Whenever you use the charcoal, it will clear out a little area for you. Here's the crazy part, though. You can't, since this is a magnetic thing, you can't, there are no compasses. There's no way to know, um, whoop, as I was talking there, I was standing outside. <laughs> um, so, um, long story short, uh, you can't know what north and south and east and west are. What you have to do is learn the territory that you're around and start picking out possible um, landmarks in the far distance. Um, that you might know as north and might know as south, but sometimes you can't see those landmarks because there's mountains in the way. So you've just basically got to have a feel. You can get lost. The snow, the the weather can change on a on a whim. Um, and you can be stuck in a, a snowstorm where you can't see be, before your face. And you've got to find a cave. Literally every single game is different, um, and I can't recommend it enough. Uh, that's all I'm going to show you because I don't want to ruin it. Um, if anybody wants to try it out, please do. Uh, it's an independent company that's out there. I've loved the game for three to four years now, I think. I think I got it in like 2018. Um, and like I said, I got it in beta mode. And they have kept adding to it. Uh, when I got it first, they only had just finished the second storyline part to it and uh about a year ago they added on the third storyline but they since it was in beta mode they actually went back and rewrote the sec the original storyline to it to make it more fleshed out so i got both experiences completely free um each time they'll try to come up with a new area on the map um each area has different things like one will be a a town ish area Another area will be a, uh, uh, there are no human uh, uh, buildings in it whatsoever. Uh, another one is a plane crash site that you have to climb up a mountain to get to the top to. Um, my kind of goal is to try to survive 100 days and then go to that mountaintop if I can make it there, which is incredibly hard to do, and jump off. <laughs> if I do that, I will record it. I'm not going to do any more long dark videos because I don't want to ruin it on anybody. If you want to try something out, something new, please feel free to try that out. Um, that's my video for the day. Uh, like I said, uh, I will be playing. If you want to contact me in-game, it's Robert Gould Shaw is my main character, but I do also play my other two. Or just contact me through uh, YouTube comments. Um, and I can always set you up with the Discord that we have for the guys who play similar to me. Uh, I have transferred my gameplay from the Long Dark to eve 
I'm going to be going back to that over the next couple of weeks. I know this month I my goal was to fly around in low sec faction warfare, but I've come to the realization to do so I need to be a hundred percent focused on that when I'm playing, and with my work and everything else going on for the next month, that's going to be impossible. So I'm probably going to move either back out to NPC Null or um, maybe one of the islands, like uh, uh, the one out near Haraka um, in uh, Molden Heath, or maybe out to Solitude um, or Syndicate, one of the two. Um, I really like both of those areas. Just for the next month to be able to play as much as I want, but without the pressure. If something cool comes up or I find something, I'll make a video. I'll try to get it posted whenever I have internet access. That's good. Um, but I apologize if some over the next month my videos are a little bit shorter. Or they might even be longer, but um, less frequent. I'll still try to do at least one or two a week. But uh, Thanks again, everyone, for watching. Um, and again, contact me if you have any questions or you want to join up or do anything. Uh, feel free. And uh, again, it's Robert Gould Shaw, the five C's. And you guys have a great day. Alrighty, bye-bye.